Main Events and Super Judah Promotions presents the Brick City Boxing Series as former world champion Zab Judah battles Kaiser Mabuza for the IBF Junior Welterweight title live on pay-per-view Saturday, March 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Zab Judah returns to the 140-pound class looking to reclaim the world title. That's Judah Mabuza, Saturday, March 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern, live on pay-per-view. Zab Judah battles South Africa's Kaiser Mabuza on Saturday, March 5th for the World Junior Welterweight Championship at the AmeriHealth Pavilion of Newark, New Jersey's famed Prudential Center. The former undisputed welterweight and junior welterweight title holder, Judah has been on a mission to reclaim the same IBF junior welterweight belt he first won in February of 2000 when he soundly defeated another South African top contender, Jan Piet Bergman, for the vacant crown. If successful on March 5th, Judah plans to challenge all of the talented young guns who currently sit atop boxing's deepest division, including other current junior welterweight champions, Amir Khan, Timothy Bradley, and eventually, pound-for-pound pound king, Manny Pacquiao. Kaiser Mabuza, on the other hand, has a different plan. The number one contender in the junior welterweight division, Mabuza earned his position when he came to New Jersey last year and shocked the boxing world with his upset of former champion Kendall Holt of Patterson. The hard-charging Johannesburg native, of course, is planning to score another big upset in the Garden State. But Zab Judah has added a new weapon to his arsenal. Former pound-for-pound pound Olympic and six-time world champion in three weight classes, Purnell Sweet P. Whitaker. The two first met over 15 years ago when Judah was invited to train in Whitaker's camp as a young amateur. Months later, in September of 1996, Judah turned pro on one of Whitaker's welterweight championship cards. The relationship between Judah and Whitaker has now come full circle as Whitaker took over head training duties in Judah's camp last month. By all accounts, the pairing of the left-handed Judah with one of the greatest boxers of all time, who also happens to be a southpaw, has been a big success. Judah compared training with the all-time pound-for-pound great to attending graduate school. After weeks in Whitaker's camp, Judah feels as though he's working towards his doctorate. He's like a sponge and wants to soak up all the knowledge that Whitaker has to offer. Once he puts that knowledge together with his already formidable skills, Judah expects to reach the potential that Whitaker saw in him as a young amateur so many years ago. Never shy about his own abilities, Whitaker paid Judah the highest possible compliment when he said recently that watching Judah work in the gym these past few weeks has been just like watching himself. Whitaker continued to heap on the praise when he noted that Judah has the added gift of a bigger punch. Just watch Zab on March 5th, Whitaker emphasized. You won't want to miss this. There is no doubt that Kaiser Mabuza is coming to America to realize his own world title dream. It will be up to Zab Judah, with the assistance of his new boxing professor, to find his way back to the top of the boxing world. A win over Mabuza on March 5th would be an excellent way to start. Also featured on the four-bout pay-per-view card will be an excellent welterweight scrap between unbeaten, up-and-coming former U.S. Olympian Saddam Ali of Brooklyn and Sao Paulo, Brazil's Juliano Ramos. Norwalk, Connecticut's Tarvis Sims looks to resume his rise back to the top of the middleweight division when he takes on Washington, D.C.'s John Mackey. Puerto Rican lightweight Jose Mangu Peralta also features on the card. But the highlight of the night will be the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship Clash. Can Zab Judah reclaim the title, or will a new champion be crowned in South Africa's Kaiser Mabuza? Don't miss Zab Judah against Kaiser Mabuza, March 5th, only on pay-per-view.